Oh, I changed my mind. We're going to keep it the same way we have it. I think the colors are looking pretty good. I did a little preview of that entry, the initial video, and we'll see how this goes. Uh, my sister did unpack some things, but haven't taken a look at it yet. In this steel tin, let's see what we got. Oh, okay. So it arrived in a steel tin. Oh yes, I think this is that Spanish knife I was looking at. Yes, Ater Spain. Uh, let me see, what is this? Uh, it doesn't say 440C, it just says 440. So this has got a 440 steel, A-I-T-O-R Spain, a hollow grind, a drop point with a swedge, right or left pocket clip, liner lock. Oh, it's a little bit stiff right now. It's got uh, white nylon washers. This was a budget buy, and I wanted to see a low budget knife from this company to see if they are worth recommending or not. So we'll take a look at this knife in a upcoming video. Uh, let's see if there's any more stuff that's already been unpacked. Oh, maybe that was this one. Let me see. Yeah, this is empty. So maybe that's what was in here. I don't know for sure. Here's a package still sealed. Let's take a quick look here. Nice little box. Oh, this is one of those uh, off-brand ones. Some of these, I just won't remember off the top of my head where I ordered them from and things. I'll have to take a look at my receipts and, and find out. This might have been from um, Fast Tech. I'm, st I'm thinking this is probably Fast Tech, but I don't know for sure. That is weird. I don't like that. We've got two different screws on the pocket clip. <laughs> that shows signs of uh, simply a throw together job access lock back here and they say it's D2 but when you got a throw together job it might not be real D2 we'll see but it's a, got a Shiro go off uh, logo on it and I hate uh, people uh, well I don't hate too many people I hate when companies rip off somebody else's logo that is a big no-no in my books so I probably won't be doing a review of this but I might mention it in another video uh, I don't mind people copying other people's ideas. Uh, we all do it in life. All kinds of different things in life we copy other people's ideas. Uh, you know, if you've got a vehicle, uh, you know, most of that vehicle has been copied off of a different vehicle. Probably a different brand. If you've got a cell phone, if you've got a whatever, you name it, it's been copied. Okay, but that's a different subject. This looks like a baggie that I often get from GearBest if it's a Fura item, <laughs> but other brands do the same kind of baggies. So let's see what we got. Oh yes, this knife, yes. This is uh, an HX Outdoors knife. I did the review, no, Fura, sorry, this is the Fura knife. I did the review of the G10 handled version and the satin blade. So this is a, yeah, it looks like it's probably genuine Damascus and it's also the Fura gear, but with the uh, wooden handle. And I'll put the model number, hopefully on the screen, or well, maybe I won't for this video since I really don't have time to edit it while I'm in um, Nebraska. I might just post it and uh, when you actually do the reviews of the videos, I'll let you know where to get these, but I will put links to GearBest and to Fast Tech and stuff on this video. I think I've got a GearBest coupon code for you guys for anything that's knives in the knife category. Ooh, this is, I'm gonna put this down for later. This is gonna be special. My very first Tuya knife, T-U-Y-A brand. So I'm gonna put this aside, make you keep watching till the end. Uh, what do we have in here? Oh, this is the, a set of tools. This company contacted me. I usually don't do the thing where the company contacts me and then I review their stuff. Uh, but, you know, you can always use more tools to help you with your knives, right? So, uh, here's, uh, 
they said it was S2 steel, so hopefully it really is. Uh, we'll find out when we actually go to use this stuff. <laughs> so, little box. And it's a number of screws. We've got some small spanners. Uh, we've got, uh, oh, some really tiny uh, Torx. And, you know, a good array of Torx. They're mostly Torx screws here. Torx and a bunch of Phillips and a few others. Let's see, we've got T4, T5, T6, T8, T10, T15. I don't know why so many companies skip T7, but so do the knife companies usually. It's not that often you find a knife that's got T7, so not that big of a deal. So Natch, I like the word ranch, but with an N instead of an R, they asked me to review this. So I'll probably be doing a video on this fairly soon. Uh, this is HX Outdoors, I believe. Yes, it is. And it says, does it have the model number on here? Well, I'm not going to waste your time looking for a model number. Let's get at it. They're very oily. I'm going to have to clean that up. I don't mind that at all. Oh, yes. ZD-031. Nice upswept and then a drop point here. Flat grind, high saber grind. There's a lot of lubrication in there. And uh, HX Outdoors, I've come to trust them. When they say a knife is a certain type of steel, you know, I've, HX Outdoors just seems to be a trustworthy company because every time I've tested it and looked at it and, uh, you know, tried to figure out if it's genuinely what they say it is, I've come away uh, almost always f very convinced and sometimes just marginally convinced, but usually very convinced that it is what they say it is. So this is going to, seems like it's going to be a good knife. Nice clearance to actuate that release for the uh, liner lock. I like that a lot. In this case, they actually raised it up a little bit. Hopefully that'll focus. And we've got to keep this video moving. But... this away. I won't have time to edit this video like I do most videos, so <laughs> I usually edit out the, the little dead space in between things. I drop this knife out of the box. Uh, this is another Fura gear. Oh, I did the review of this knife, uh, and now I've got it in a acid black wash or a black wash and G10. And I did this, uh, yeah, I'm sure I did this review. Why did I get a black one as well? This might have been a request that I made from the um, my rep at GearBest. And sometimes I end up buying a the same knife that she's going to be sending me, you know, just a slightly different model. But I think I've got this, I've, yeah, I'm convinced I reviewed this with a satin blade and either orange or tan colored handle scales, if I remember correctly. Okay, so that's good. And good. Boy, in the United States, Amazon Prime, you get some nice bags. That's good. Here's a card. Oh, a card from Mass Drop. Let's see what it says, because I buy stuff from Mass Drop. I think it's an invitation to uh, a video because they were sending me a knife that's going to be a first of, yes, the Ma Mass Drop Schwartz Perpetua. That knife. They just said, I'm definitely getting it. <laughs> that's what that video, that's about. Uh, let's see, what's this? First class tracking from Columbus. I don't know which Columbus. We'll find out. Let's open this up. And see what's in here. Oh, this might have been, see, gear best. Yeah, just drop it. <clears throat> GearBest does some drop shipping to some uh, U.S. addresses, or most U.S. addresses. Or this might have been... This isn't GearBest. I believe this is Fast Tech. This is Fast Tech, I think. I could be wrong. I'll, I'll double check <laughs> when I have time. I'll, when I've got time, I'll double check. So this is a San Remu tip-down pocket clip a uh, spay point blade 
The spay point is an old style uh, that they used. Uh, ranchers used them to help spay animals, uh, you know, neutered the males. So this is an older style, the 735 Sanran Mew, and there's a butterfly on it. Woohoo! Frame lock flips very well. Great action. And it's just washers. But they look like looks like both the washers are phosphor bronze. On both sides. Very good. So there's that one from Sanran Mew. We've got another Sanran Mew land knife. Land tactical knives, they call it. Oh, okay. This is the... I've been waiting for this one. Yes, this was from X-Duct. From X-Duct, guys. Not Fast Tech or San Remi or Gearbest. X-Duct has this knife. The 9107. I really hope I'm going to get a link for you. I hope I remember to do that. Because this knife, I've not seen for anywhere for North Americans to get this knife except for at X-Duct. The 9107... Uh, Sandvik 12C27 steel. Uh, it's, you know, of course the Sabenza style, but it's, um, uh, what's the name of the knife that it's copying? Instead of the Sabenza 21, this is, well, I don't remember right offhand. Sorry, guys. But, uh, yeah, we've got, uh, I think, ball bearings in here. And, you know, you've got your black on the flats and the satin. That's a nice knife. So roughly the size of the 9103, 9104, or the 910 knives. Very nice. Very nice indeed. That's, I like that. And we've got this package. Well, let's use this guy to open this package now. And, uh, oh, the tip of that knife is sharp. It opened that no problem at all. And uh, <laughs> the box is just falling apart. So the box is empty. Will I show you the knife eventually? Yes, I will. There you go. Fura gear. Almost like a spay point blade again. Mm -hmm. But uh, maybe you'd call that a reverse tanto or a modified Warncliffe, whatever you want to call it. A saber grind, that's a flat grind. Fura gear. Tip up pocket clip, right side only. Nice th heavy blade this way. And uh, fairly good thickness to the blade here. Ball bearings. Yeah, when that gets to swinging, when you get that started swinging, it, the weight just takes it around. Very nice. Feels quite good in hand. And not quite a good forward toil thing. You're going to cut yourself with that little point right there. Good guard from that uh, flipper tab when you're not needing it. Okay. I probably would have preferred a higher flat grind than this one, but not bad. I do like a lot of Fura Gear knives. And... Uh, they tend to get pretty good reviews from me, but not always. It's not a guarantee, you know. I try to be as fair as possible in all of my reviews. That is, when I buy the knives or when they are given to me, or when I get them at a discount. I, I don't try to keep track of which knives came which way. And I genuinely do forget most of the time. And that's a good thing because I want to give each knife its own fair treatment. Now, Fura's been using these felt kind of packages recently. It's kind of cool that way. If you've got a Fura knife recently, you'll know what I mean. And uh, especially with these titanium knives recently. So titanium handles. Nice uh, clip point or drop point here. A little bit higher of a saber grind, stone wash blade, frame lock with a lock bar insert, over travel stop, uh, milled pocket clip, right side only. Very smooth action. This has got very smooth action. See that? Just nice. But once it's closed, it's got a pretty good detent. Open pillar construction. Let's see, do they have... No, they don't have any recessed milling to lose weight on the handle. Wish they would have. But not not super heavy at all. So, that's another Fura. 
We still have some more in this bag. Let's see what else do we have in here. Yeah, I've got a whole bunch of knives to sort through here. <laughs> and another Furo. Now, most of these folding knives, I've had some very good experiences mailing folding knives to Canada from the U.S. So I'll probably mail these instead of trying to take them across the border in person. Not totally convinced which way I'm going to do it. <laughs> we'll see. So here's another Fura gear. Is this the same model, just a different color? It is too. It's the exact same model, just a different color. So one of these I'll take across in person, and one of these I'll mail to myself. Just increase the odds that they're going to get through. So green or blue, I didn't ask them for to send me the same knife twice, and it's in the same package. So that's odd. Uh, sometimes my contact person, you know, gets some things mixed up. Sometimes I tell her the wrong things. I, I put down the wrong codes for items. So sometimes it's my fault. And sometimes she's just a very busy person and uh, she makes mistakes just like I make mistakes. We are both human. This is a little no-name knife that I saw at uh, um, um, oh, what's the name of the place? Fast Gear Best. <laughs> but I think Fast Tech has it as well. Now there's a way to open this that the whole body slides out this one side, I believe. So we've got screws there to hold that on. Nice little chain dangler, keychain dangler. I'm just gonna have to learn how this opens up. Looks like a detent. Oh, there it is, it slides forward that way, doesn't it? Well, maybe not. There we go, it goes that way, okay. It goes that way, it slides that way. And then you keep sliding it and then you bring it back and then it's got another detent there to hold it so it locks open and now you've got a great blade for opening packages because you've got a 90 degree corner here and you've got a flat edge there you've got some uh, serrated teeth right there hopefully that'll focus and you've got a uh, bag ripper or a belt ripper there so uh, oh too bad some of the anodization on that pivot has come off, it's rubbed off. This was a very low price item. I'm guaranteed that they copied somebody to make this. <laughs> if you remember exactly who it is that this made the original, this is a copy of, you know, let me know. Either email me or put it in the comments. If you email me, email me at CanadianCuttingEdge at gmail.com. Okay, and that's all of that. And uh, let's open this package. And after this package, I just have one more package after that. <laughs> oh, but then I do have that one knife that I said I was going to put on hold till the end. Don't forget to remind me of that one. Oh, this is just some personal stuff for my wife, but I also got a knife. So, it's just... It's just a uh, nasal spray stuff. But here's this knife by QSP. Uh, one of my friends from Germany, he's also got a YouTube channel. He just told me a little while ago, very little while ago, that he works for this knife company or works with this knife company at some level. And I think what he's doing is he's designing some knives with them. And so I went to Amazon and took a look. This knife is 440C steel which is a good stainless steel, very good, you know, budget level stainless steel. Pocket clip is right or left, tip up, full flat grind, a nice drop point or spear point blade where the back of the spine and the belly of the blade is very much symmetrical, but not sharp at all on this side. Not heavy at all. Good jimping on the thumb there. This seems like a very nice uh, budget level pocket knife to carry this, and it feels very good. I think I'm gonna like this. You know, with 440C, that's very nice. So we'll have a review of the QSP coming sometime soon. And that thing we don't need to do. 
and I think this is another Amazon thing. Oh, that's too bad. I don't have that knife yet. I was hoping the Perpetua, or yeah, the Perpetua, I was hoping it would have arrived already, but it has not arrived. But the mail still has to come for today. First thing tomorrow morning, I leave to go to my niece's place. So this is the second last package. This is from Tangram. Gotta open up this side too, don't I? airbags. Hopefully the wind doesn't blow those away and make a big mess. Put those in there. Tangram knives. This gives me a chance to show you the packaging because I'll probably leave the packaging here at my sister's place. So there's the packaging. Gold Award 2018 it says on the package there. So the last two knives, this one and the last one, are going to be some more of my more uh, favorite styles or brands that I really like, budget brands that I really like an awful lot. Tangram is a Kaiser company and uh, open that up. They've got a Tangram style game here that you take this out you've got all these different shapes to put together <laughs> so you can give those to a, a niece or a nephew to play with a little bit they give you a fiber cloth, a microfiber cloth. They give you just a little bit of booklet information. Don't fall down. And here's uh, different shapes that you can make for that tangram, those pieces of cardboard. Okay. But you want to see the knife itself, don't you? The knife itself? Yeah, you want to see that? Okay, let's get the knife out. Boy, it's packed in here so securely. Yeah, you see me just reefing on it. <laughs> Trying hard to re rip it out without breaking anything. I don't want to wreck anything. So this is going to be a sub three inch knife called the Amarillo. Did I say that wrong? A-M-A-R-I-L-L-O, yes. Full flat grind. Um, Bowie tip very very nice uh, designer is Azul what's his first name I forget off the top of my head right left 